Hey YouTube, it's Craig here. First of all, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope this isn't my last video of the year, but this is one of the projects that I was working on for most of the year, and I wanted to share it with you guys finally. But I had this 1915 Waterman's fountain pen poster completely restored through the graphic conservation company, and I just wanted to show kind of some of what went into it. Uh, it started off with uh, this video of me unboxing it that I live streamed. And then I went through all the processes of having everything docu-signed and taking care of it. And they were really professional. It was just a phenomenal experience overall with the graphic con conservation company. And I just wanted to share, you know, how it's turned out. The next thing is this gigantic thing. I can't believe stuff like this survives. There is some like very not acid safe tape on here holding it together. It's got a little bit of a water stain in it. It's got a few water stains in it, in fact. Oh man, I, I actually probably wanna get this restored. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get this restored. This is really cool. This is so crazy. This Waterman's Ideal fountain pen sign from 1915 is going to be refurbished. I don't care what it costs or how, <laughs> or how long it's gonna take, but it's gonna get done. As you can see, for being 107 years old, it looks pretty good, but there's a lot of foxing, there's water damage, there's pigment missing. The paper here is very, very, very fragile. You can see there's a lot of little micro tears and I have to be very, very careful with it. It's very brittle. You can also see some more pigment that's missing off here. As you get further down, more pigment missing and cracks. But I believe this is a lithograph, not a serigraph or you know screen print. I believe it is a lithograph on paper and the other problem is it has this metal sort of edge for this banner and as you can see on the back side there are some pinholes there's some very bad tape this tape was probably put on 50 years ago and you can see all the foxing and all the damage there's a lot a lot of tape on it well the plan is to not only restore it just so it looks good but store it, but have it so that it will continue to be good for the next hundred years. The original plan was to get in contact with Poster Fix. Uh, this guy, Chris, can pretty much fix any poster out there. Although when I emailed him, he said that he was going to decline because it was too much of a risk. Was disappointed to find out that he wasn't gonna work on this, but I found someone better. I found the Graphic Conservation and Kristen so I am going to be sending this guy out. It's going to take about a week and a half, uh, a week to two weeks to, for them to figure out how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take and what are the best steps to take to preserve this thing and get it back to something that doesn't look like this. This thing sat for who knows how long, probably in a garage, probably in a place that wasn't stored. It wasn't stored very well. I don't think they ever had it really on display anywhere. But I'm going to make sure that this thing can be displayed and preserved and it will be beautiful someday. I've got it all wrapped up safely. It's going in this giant shipping tube because, well, that's all I have. I'm gonna write a little note to Kristen and the team and I'll pack this up and tomorrow I'll be sending it out to Chicago. Here's some of the correspondence I had with the team over at the graphic conservation company and it was just very professional. They gave me a bunch of DocuSign things and they gave me quotes and they gave me options. Initially, they asked about framing and they were, framing was very expensive. I mean, it's museum quality framing. They've done work for the Library of Congress, for the Smithsonian. Um, they are a big time conservation restorer. And so it had a price with it of like $3,000 to frame it. 
I was under the impression that this was gonna be able to be rolled up again and then sent back to me. And I was gonna be able to unroll it and roll it whenever I wanted to. I wanted to take it places. I actually wanted to take it to shows and show it off, but not smart when it's, turns out this thing is clay coated paper and it's very brittle and uh, they did a lot of in-painting to fix it. So the best bet was to just flat ship it. I got it back that's when I decided to take it in and get it framed so I took it over to this local uh, rainbow art frame shop and now it's perfect it's up on the wall and I, I look at it every day and I just I'm so thrilled um, and I'm just thrilled with the amount of work that was done to it too And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking out, you guys. If you have any questions about it, then leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this. Check out my Instagram, at Krigarkanova. And I hope this isn't my last video of the year. I still plan on doing one more sort of recap on how this crazy collection has taken, taken control of my life. Um, but thanks so much for watching these videos, you guys. I really appreciate it. It's been a heck of a year, over 1,200 new subscribers in 2022 so thank you so much for all of that and uh i hope you all have a happy holiday and a happy new year all right peace